welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Belinda. Today I bring you a haul. This is a cumulative haul. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, from Sephora, from Ulta, and a couple of things from the drugstore that I just wanted to share with you guys and let you all know what it is that I have been purchasing lately. I am wearing two of the products, actually three of the products that I'm going to show you um, and so I'm still kind of doing a review on them, but they are new and I am trying them out for the first day. So let's go ahead and start with stuff that I have purchased at Sephora. This is an oldie, but I barely got my hands on it. This is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder. I am in the market for a pressed powder and um, I just recently saw a great review, but on the new one, the Ultra Micro Finished uh, Powder, uh, they only have it online though only, and I am going to buy it, but I just got my hands on this one too. I am wearing it today. Um, I am going to do a review on it and tell you all what I think about the powder. So yeah, Sephora, this is what I just picked up, the Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder. Next what I picked up from Sephora, you all know that I love my Laura Mercier uh, Setting Translucent Powder. I did buy this Cover Effect one, Cover Effect, Cover Effects, this is a perfect setting powder and I haven't used it yet. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see how it compares to my Laura Mercier because you all know that I love that powder. Uh, I didn't put it on today. Like I said, I'm wearing another one. I'm testing out products, but I wanted to give this Cover FX a shot because, I mean, I love my Laura Mercier, but you know, I want to see if there's something out there that's comparable and maybe that I'd like to. Next from Sephora, I picked up these two lipsticks. These are the new Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Metal. These are it right here. These are fairly new. Now, I did try these on in store and I loved it. So let me do a, show you guys the color. This is what the color looks like. This is Mob Squad. It's a really pretty metallic pink. They have one more color which is more of a nude color, but um, I didn't pick that one up because it looked really, really light and really metallic-y and I just didn't want to buy that because lately I'm on a dark lip kick. So yeah, the next one is the Brains and Bronze. This one I love. I tried this one on and um, my husband sent me a text. I tried this one on at the store and I just completely fell in love with it. It's just a beautiful metallic bronzed color. Let's try and see if we can focus here. Anyhow, it's a really pretty color. I'll be wearing it. I'll swatch it for you guys another day on Instagram. So that was the other lipstick. The other lipstick that I got, I don't know why, I just fell in love with this lipstick. This is Gothica by Kat Von D. It's from her Studded Kiss collection. I just fell in love with this lipstick when I tried it on in the store and it's nothing like I've ever worn before, but this is a presentation, it's so pretty. And it's this like bronze red color. Can you see? I don't know why it's not focusing. Focus here, there we go. It's just a really, and it's got like glitter on it, but it's like a real pretty red brick color. And I tried this on and I really, 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 really like the color. Um, they do have a little glitter in them. Let's see, I don't know why my camera is so weird. It does have like a little glitter on there, but sorry guys, my focusing here. Um, but I love that. Next, I got the Marc Jacobs. This is the Major Volume Mascara. This is it right here. I, uh, I've heard really great reviews about this mascara. It was expensive, so I hope that it lives up to its expectations. I've, had several, I've seen several people on YouTube talk about it, so I went ahead and bought it, and we're gonna give it a shot. This is what the brush looks like. We'll see. Something else that I picked up from Sephora was the Becca. I did have a sample of this and I'm almost out of it, so I decided to go ahead and buy 
the uh, the full size. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Now this is gonna give you a dewy finish. I'm already oily, but you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted it because I had liked it. Like if I'm not wearing any makeup, I kind of throw this on and it still gives me a luminous look. Uh, very comparable to the Maybelline uh, Photo Face Master Studio that I like. I hope Master Prime by Face Studio totally butched that. And I don't actually have it. I need to repurchase it. But um, Becca just doesn't break me out and it really gives you a flawless look. And actually, I am testing this out on this side of my face today. I know, so weird. I did find myself getting more dewy than usual in the nose area, but I did like the little glow it's giving me here and the glow that's given me all over here and the little glow that's going on here. Now my nose doesn't look glowy. It looks like I've got a bunch of oil there. So a mama is going to um, tap, tap that, oh my God. Mama is going to put on some powder in a bit, but I just wanted for y'all to see during the video what's going on in my face. And so the next product is what I'm using on the right side of my face. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It's a silicone-free translucent blur stick, minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a smooth matte finish. Blurring micro spheres perfect skin and create a smooth base for the makeup. You can use it alone as an invisible foundation or under makeup as a primer. I did put this on, uh, like I said, on this side of my face. I did notice that, yes, my pores were a lot less visible, um, but as far as it doesn't do oil control, it doesn't say that it is oil control. It just says that it blurs imperfections, which yeah, I mean, I noticed that um, my foundation didn't sink into as much into my fine lines and that it really reduced the pore, the way the pores are looking on this side versus this side. Uh, but as an all over, like all over, all over blur stick, I don't know, I think you should just use it on the areas that need to be treated, such as like your fine lines and your... Um, your pores but I don't know I'm still I'm still testing it out I still have to try it out with other foundations and see how it holds up so the foundation that I am using today is a born this way foundation I did try it on with this and I'm gonna try it out with like three or four different foundations that have been my holy grail lately and let me see two more products that I picked up at uh, at Sephora this is their new NARS uh, highlighting palette I love this love 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 it it's new i just picked it up it's got like a rose gold toned it's got a gold toned and then it just has your nice white normal champagne highlighter these are really 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 pretty i've tried on three all three and all three just apply so beautifully on the skin now i did i have been applying it this way i noticed that my highlighters were a little bit chalky and a little bit powdery so what i do is i go ahead and grab my brush i uh spray it with water and then i go in and i pick up the product and then i layer it on it just gives it a more wet look without it being a wet type of uh highlighter and so i've been loving that and it blends easily into the skin and it doesn't give you that powdery look feeling that i had been getting lately so, uh, oh, one more thing that I picked up. I picked up another uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I love this. This is a color five. I am gonna go exchange it for the color six because I think that is more my color. And one more thing, I picked up the rose, the pink bubblegum looking beauty blender because you can never have enough beauty blenders. All right, next I have, uh, let's go with Ulta. I only have one product from Ulta. This is a Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. This toner is to refresh, exfoliate, and help, soft, help soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles with their alcohol-free glycolic acid toner. Glycolic acid is, and grapefruit extract work together to help dull, tired skin look refreshed and rejuvenated, and it's formulated with olive oil to help soothe your skin. I've heard really great things about this. Um, and so I decided to finally buy it. It's awesome. This whole bottle is only $18. And so I was really, really happy that this much of a toner and I've just, that this much liquid for the money is awesome. And I've just really been hearing great, great, great things about this toner. So I picked that up. My two drugstore purchases. This is a primer. This is by Soap and Glory, one heck of a blot. I purchased this at Target. 
I like this because it really helps me stay matte with the right foundation. And I like the consistency of it. You apply it and it feels very gel-like and it almost feels like it gives you a cooling effect. I don't apply it all over the face. I just apply it in the areas that I need it and I have really liked it. It's a little bit more on the pricier side from the drugstore, but Target sometimes has uh, coupons on their cartwheel, so check that out. And then next I picked up my last one. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, this is in the color Mellow Wine. And I just, I really like this color. Uh, it's a nice, I actually, it reminds me a lot of a NARS color that I just uh, purchased. But it's just a real pretty apricot color. It's like brown, peach, apricot color. And um, my phone keeps ringing. So yeah, let me go ahead and just show you guys in action this Makeup Forever blotting press, I mean not blotting, it's not a blotting powder, I'm sorry, it's a high definition pressed powder. We're just going to go ahead and grab my Real Technique uh, setting brush, it's like super dirty. We're just going to pat away this shiny area. It could also be my moisturizer that I used this morning. I tried a different one and should have not worn a moisturizer so okay there I always have to do it around my nose so I really never really pay attention to that area but um, all right so anyway guy thank guy anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you all for watching my haul please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe until later toodles